Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Simon and today I am back not with a reading vlog for reasons we'll talk about in a second but with one of my Reading Horizons video which will also be a bit of a bookish chat. So I've got a cup of tea, you may want to pause and go and make yourself some refreshment or something or get some nibbles and snacks. Who knows how long this video could go on for, who knows how many tangents I could go on. Maybe count the amount of tangents and let me know in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, um, so the reason that I'm not doing a reading vlog or a reading vlog isn't being uploaded today is because it is footage from Italy. I got back on Wednesday night and it's quite finickety and I want the music to be just right and get the B-roll just right and everything. So that will probably go live next Sunday. And I think also I wanted to gain a little bit of time because I'm away for over a week in March and I really want to take that time off but pre-record stuff so that way vlogs can be ahead for that and also a lot of vlogs go up on Sunday in my feed which I love but I'm always like all the other vlogs are better than mine so is mine really like worth putting up on the same day should I move those days so I'm thinking about all of those things but for now I don't want to leave you without a video on a Sunday because I'm still sticking with Wednesdays and Sundays as being my video days although I'm hoping, well, not hoping, I'm planning that on the first like full week of every month, you'll get a video on a Tuesday and Thursday instead of, and a Sunday instead of a Wednesday and Sunday, because you'll get my wrap up. No, you'll get my haul from the previous month and my wrap up from the previous month. So there we go. That's that. I'm putting my tea down so that I can hold books up, but because blah, 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 I'm also not going to edit these videos, even though I do like to spend time like zooming in and out and sort of taking the mickey out of myself or highlighting when I'm being a wally. Um, I want to, this is going to be a bit of a quick and nasty uh, video. And I don't mean just because I'm wearing naked Burt Reynolds. Oi, oi. I've also got a Tom Selleck one. So there's that. Um, but before I talk about what I have been reading, am reading and I'm going to be reading next, which is my Reading Horizons. And as always, would love to know in the comments down below what you have been reading, what you are reading and what you're planning on reading next. I thought I'd talk about some books that I'm not reading but also some future reads because they are for events. So the two that I'm not going to be reading which I thought I was going to be reading this weekend, wow there's a thing, um, are Wayward by Emily, uh, Amelia Hart, sorry Amelia, and The Key in the Lock by Beth Underdown. We were meant to be doing a event on the 22nd in Liverpool, but sadly, um, due to unforeseen circumstances, we're having to postpone it. So once we've got a new date for that, I will let you all know. And in terms of events, because I haven't got dates for some definite dates for some future events, but there are some really good ones coming, keep your eyes on Instagram, which is always linked down below. And I will maybe do a highlights reel or something of highlights reel. Do I know social media? I'll maybe do a highlights on Instagram so that if there's any upcoming events that you want to come to, you can head to. And two, which um, are not far away, are firstly, my um, chat with Ayabami Adebayo uh, talking about a spell of good things, which I haven't read yet. I'm saving for a possible themed reading blog, which my patrons have been voting on. Um, but yeah, I need to read it before the 28th because that's when we're doing our event in Blackwells in Manchester really looking forward to it I absolutely loved Stay With Me and I've heard amazing things about this I feel bad that I haven't read it yet but I like to read things quite close to when I do events so that I don't forget stuff and actually I need to do a bit of rereading for a future event but that'll I'll we'll talk about that in a second. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to edit this and then my lovely neighbour Jill came round because we've been feeding Foster and also has very kindly said she'll feed the cats while I'm away next month, as I mentioned. Um, where was I? So yes, in March on the 10th, Friday the 10th of March at Waterstones, Liverpool, I will be hosting an event with the wonderful Costanza Casati uh, talking about Clytemnestra, which is her debut novel. I'm really, really, really keen to get to this. I was keen anyway without like doing an event, but now I'm even more keen. And my mother may well be in the audience for that. So there's something if you happen to be in Liverpool on Friday the 10th of 
March. So those are just some events that I've got coming up. Others I've got coming up, like I said, check out my Instagram, check it out, and um, check out my Instagram for more details when I know more. Uh, I'm doing an event with Elizabeth Day for Friendaholic. I'm doing one, oh, before that, I'm doing one with Bobby Palmer, who wrote Isaac and the Egg, and also Joanna Cannon about a tidy ending, which we were meant to do one last year, but it got postponed. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be in Manchester at the end of March. Then, yeah, Elizabeth Day at the beginning of April in Liverpool. I'm also doing one with the author of Pineapple Street. I want to say Jenny Jackson, and I feel like that's not quite right, but that's in mid-April. And then in May, I'm going to be hosting an event with Alice Slater at West Kirby Books, um, which is the new local independent bookshop to me um, about death of a bookseller, which I'm really, really excited for too. So those are some events that are coming up, but like I said, I'll keep those all on Instagram. Now, let's chat about the books that I have read recently. And the last book that I actually read, I don't really want to spend much time talking about, is going to be in two different blogs. It's Where Angels Fear to Tread by Ian Forster. I found this a bit of a slog, if I'm honest, reading it physically. So then, thankfully, there was an audio book with Stephen Fry who could read anything and make it delightful. Um, and I really enjoyed that. I listened to it on the plane and um, there were two moments when my jaw literally dropped. There were also a couple of really funny moments, but overall, I just found it a bit boring. <laughs> which I shouldn't, even though there were those two dropping moments, but that'll be talked about more in another video. One book that I haven't read like immediately recently, it, I think I read it about two weeks ago, but I have not stopped thinking about and wanted to mention is Brutes by Diz Tate. And this, I don't know, like part of me thought I would really enjoy it and part of me really wasn't sure. I think books about groups of young people I don't know, I feel like I'm not gonna enjoy them. And actually a book that I'm reading now is about two, well, a couple, well, two young friends and also I'll talk about it when I get to it. I'm going off on too many tangents. I'm aware it's beginning to go dark outside or the sun is beginning to set. Anyway, that's because I was gassing for so long with lovely Jill across the road. Um, but anyway, this book, has, it's all about um, a group of girls who watch everything that's going on in the town in Florida that they live in and they watch this one particular girl who goes missing and it's told through we, so we did this, we did that, which I thought would really annoy me and didn't, I was fine with it. And then you get glimpses into each of the girls and actually one boy, um, each of their perspectives later in life after this disappearance. And I was hooked. There's some really creepy, weird, unanswered stuff in here, but I didn't get cross about it. I just loved it. So any recommendations around like this sort of, well, the things that I just said, please let me know. Because honestly, I just thought this was really, really corking. I think it could be in with a shot for the Women's Prize. My Women's Prize predictions video will go live on Wednesday. I know that for definite because I've already recorded it. Haven't edited it though, but we'll have by then because I'm off tomorrow. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of this and I don't know whether CJ Reads will let me or not, but I'd love to be part of the discussion when they talk about it um, for the Sunnies book club pick. I already had a copy, so I didn't buy it, but um, yeah, anyway, this, yeah, I have thoughts, um, lots of them. The book that I mentioned that I'm currently reading that also is about young people, honestly, what does that even mean, um, is The Strays by Emily Beto. And I'm reading this for February's Savage Prompt, which are prompts that lots of you lovely lots suggested. Mum and I picked out of a jar and are doing 13 throughout 2023. And if you're joining in with them, please let me know and let me know what your January read was and let me know what your February read was or is. March, sorry, January's theme was a book with a quote from a favourite author on the cover. February's is a book that has one been shortlisted or longlisted for the Stella Prize, this one in 2015. And March is, I'm not gonna go through all the months, but March is, as it's on its way, uh, a book with your favourite colour on the cover. Mine is purple and I might do a reading vlog of purple because as you may well have seen in my slightly chaotic book trolley video, which I'll try and remember to link down below. 
Um, anyway, this is about two girls who become friends. I thought it was about sisters, but their friendship gets so close, they feel like sisters to each other and to you as a reader, kind of. Um, Lily and Ava, Eva, sorry, and Eva's father is a very famous painter. And what happens is that as Lily spends more time with that family, she kind of gets more embroiled, almost becoming one of the family, as they kind of become a commune for the strays. And there's some really beautiful, beautiful writing about nature in Australia and oh, that's all gorgeous. But also this kind of unease throughout because you know from a prologue at the beginning that Eva and Lily have not spoken for years. And as I'm reading on, I'm about halfway now, you get a lot more ideas as to why that might be, like hints, and it's making me feel slightly uneasy as I read, but in a really good way. So we have that one. I'm also reading, and I got this very kind of as a gift from Julia, who runs Etta's Bookshop in Luca, where I was last week, um, Catastro Catastrophe? Catastrophe and Other Stories by Dino Bazzati. These short stories are brilliant. Every single one has sort of surprises. I don't like to use the term twist, although it kind of is twisting, but real surprises in them. And yeah, I've just found them all utterly gripping so far. So that's what I am currently reading. I'm about to add a book to my currently reading because this is a book that I'm going to be doing as a buddy read with the lovely Ewan from Hardback Hype Beast, who is making videos again. And I'll link his channel down below. And we're going to be reading The Shards by Brett Easton Ellis, which I have only heard amazing things about. Now, I find Brett Easton Ellis a really confusing, I was going to say character. I think there's actually a character called Brett in this. Um, he knows what he's doing. But yeah, I um, and I was meant to interview him earlier this month, but due to train strikes and stuff, I couldn't. But I've only heard amazing, amazing, amazing things about this. I have read... Um, him before. I read American Psycho. I will never forget the rat scene. That's all I feel I need to say. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm intrigued for this one. And Ewan said he started it and was really, really hooked already. So we've said we'll do 50 pages a day. I've got a feeling we're going to end up doing 100 because I just think we're going to slightly inhale it, even though it's a big chunky boy. It's a good 600 pager. So um, yeah, there's that one. And then in terms of what I am planning on reading next, I've got two options at the moment. And they are both books. No, they're not. That's absolute boulder dash what I was about to say. I was going to say they're both up for the John Thomas Prize. They're not. But they're both eligible for the Women's Prize. Um, the first of which is The Furrows by Namwali Serpel. I know very little about this book other than Barack Obama raved about this. And was it one of his books of the year or one of his books of winter? Because I know he does a summer selection. But I think it was one of his books of the entire year. And that kind of was enough for me. Also, slight tangent, I think I've been on a few, but this is a definite one. I'm currently watching The First Lady, the TV show, which has got Viola Davis in it as um, Michelle Obama, Michelle Pfeiffer as Betty Ford, and Gillian Anderson as Eleanor Roosevelt. I cannot recommend it enough. It's an absolute corker. I saw it got really bad reviews and didn't get renewed, but I just think it's ace. And I think, I mean, three of my favourite actresses in one thing, it's fantastic anyway. Um, but to find out more, particularly around Betty Ford and Eleanor Roosevelt, is just so fascinating. They just had such tumultuous lives. Oh, that's a good word. Tumultuous. I like that. So anyway, there we go. That was a slight tangent. Um, but yeah, this is one I'd like to read. And the other one that I'd like to read is Things They Lost by Okwiri Adore, which is up for the Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Thomas Prize, as I mentioned. Um, and I'm really, really, yeah, I'm really excited for it. It also won the Kane Prize for African Writing. And only amazing things. I absolutely love this hardback. Although the paperback, I love those end papers. Um, I didn't love the paperback, but I saw that Ben Reads Good, who's trying to link down below as well, um, had that in his Women's Prize prediction video. I mean, it's grown on me. Um, but anyway, I've got this one. Um, and as you'll see from the book trolley, I need to read both of these soon because they are two of the three latest incoming hardbacks that I couldn't fit on my shelves. And if I don't get to them in the month, uh, in the next month, then I have to go. That's that. I'm being tough with myself. So there's that. Now, in terms of other bookish things going on, I am judging, and this is another reason that I want to kind of make sure that I've got 
as I said, I think I said, um, a few videos like in my pocket, as Lena fabulously told me I should, um, because I am also like properly on the reading of the submissions for the prize that I'm judging for the Royal Society of Literature, which is the Christopher Bland Prize, which is for debut works of literature. It can be fiction or non-fiction by authors over the age of 50. It's quite niche, so it's not like a huge, huge, huge amount of submissions, but I am kind of on it. I was trying to read a book a day. <laughs> I mean, that's just mad, isn't it? A book a day in February, that was my aim. So I was like, short month, short fiction, book a day. Because I also have seen Connor Habib, who's um, an author I must read at some point. I really, really want to read Hawk Mountain. Um, he does this thing where for three weeks throughout a year, he'll read a book a day. And I had been on and off in the last couple of months reading a book a day just because I was reading some really short stuff. And I was like, oh, that'd be a really good challenge. It went awry. I mean, I could possibly claw it back because I have been reading a lot of books in February. I seem to definitely this year have my reading groove back. But yeah, I don't know. It's an odd one. It's like, do I want to put too much pressure on myself? What would Bert say? I mean, he's saying pretty much relaxed there, isn't he? This is one of my new favourite t-shirts. I am going off on a little tangent now um, that I got recently, along with a um, Tom Selleck one, which if you're one of my patrons, you will get to see in a vlog that's dropping tomorrow, because I've done a sort of 24-hour hang out with me while I read a book video. Uh, that's also called a reading vlog. Actually, speaking of Patreon, one second. I'm just going to try not to show my pants. Um, but uh, I hope there wasn't too much pantage shown there by Savage. Um, the Patreon book club, which, so I should say, I have a book club on Patreon and our next read, if you'd like to join in, will be the 8th of March and we will be talking about Gods of Shade and Shadow but no Gods of Shade and Shadow <laughs> no Gods of Jade and Shadow did I just say shade twice have I got shade on the brain um anyway uh, we'll be reading this by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and this um links into um well I want to read some Mexican literature in advance of going but also while I'm there and uh, I've got my patrons to vote in the book club they get to vote between four different titles and well first of all they get to vote on a theme every month and then they get to vote between four titles that match that theme off my shelves and this one won. I'm really excited for this it's going to be me dipping my toe into a bit of fantasy and I'm really excited by Sylvia Marina Garcia anyway because every book of hers seems to be really different so yeah, I'm going to be packing a few when I go away. So there's that. I can't think if there's anything else. I guess one thing, like I said earlier, I would really like to know what you'd like to see on the channel going forward. That's kind of a big thing for me at the moment. Like what content, if I am just two videos a week and one of them's a blog, what would you like to see? And also what would you like to see in my blogs? Anything that I haven't done that you'd just kind of like to see. They are getting much more chatty, which I'm really, really enjoying. And a lot of people are saying I'm much more relaxed this year. I don't know how relaxed this video is, is because I'm aware of the light situation. And because I've decided to chill a lot more this year, I've like just been having a really lovely day. I've been off and wandered in some woods, looking at snowdrops, which I kept calling snowbells the entire time. Had a really, really nice brunch before that. And yeah, yesterday was just a really, really chilled day too, as my patrons will see tomorrow in that blog that I mentioned. Um, so anyway, that I think is that. I really felt like there was more that I wanted to catch up on whilst I had a cup of tea, which I haven't drunk. And it's got mildly cold because like I said I also had a big old chat and a gossip with uh, my neighbour Jill but I hope you've had a lovely refreshment of some kind um, and yeah if there's anything oh that's what I was going to ask oh and that's what I was going to say see this will come back to me now women's prize I forgot to say the long list is out on the I've heard 6th and I've heard 7th of March and Mum and I are, again, going to be reading The Long List together this year. So if you've got any uh, thoughts on how we can do that content or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. And, uh, was that it? <laughs> that might have been it, that was me. <gasps> I've got all of this to say, but actually I haven't got very much to say. But um, as I mentioned in the comments below, please, one, see if you can 
guess how many tangents I went on or what you think the amount of tangents I went on is. Also, let me know anything you'd like to see on the channel in the forthcoming weeks and months. Also, let me know what you have just read, what you are currently reading and what you're thinking about reading next. And anything you'd like to see, I think I've just said that, anything you'd like to see on the channel. Yeah, I'm wanging on, I'm waffling. Let's all move on. So it's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from Bert, and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Two chaotic videos on the trot, I promise. If you're new to this channel, it's not, is it normally this bad? Answer that in the comments down below too. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.